Tonight, we look into our future on what some call the information superhighway. It's supposed to make our lives simpler, but how can it if we don't understand it? Farland Chang reports on two Delaware Valley institutions paving the way to tomorrow. Just like our roadways give us access to a nation full of cities, the information highway is giving us access to a world of information. For generations of knowledgeable travelers, Paris has been the city against which all others are measured. Imagine, from the comfort of your home, previewing your vacation before buying your ticket. Here we go, Shakespeare. I like Hamlet myself. From Mike Berry's dorm room at the University of Pennsylvania to Bell Atlantic's home of the future, the information highway has the power to simplify our lives. Welcome to First Investment Bank. Something called love, Red Rocks West. They say there's nothing new under the sun. A little early morning grocery shop. Well, let's take green pepper, broccoli, salad. In the shopping mall of tomorrow, imagine no more driving, no more waiting. Just turn on your TV set and let your fingers do the walking. Stargazer Help Desk. I'm Maya. How may I help you? Hi, Maya. This is Larry Plum. I have a 15-year-old daughter who has a birthday coming up and loves animals. Can you help me with some gift ideas? Okay. There are three merchants in the mall that show a match. There are some wonderful, informative books about animals in her age range at the bookstore. This is a clay model of the future, a vision of the world according to Bell Atlantic, the Philadelphia-based phone company. At its lab in Arlington, Virginia, we got a glimpse of that vision, a vision called Stargazer. The whole idea behind Stargazer is to make it fun and simple to use, something that's as easy as pointing and clicking. Actually, if you automate the hazards of life, it probably means more free time for people, ultimately. How does it all work? The concept is simple. Start with information people want. Let's say movies. Compress them into a computer, sort of a video jukebox. Thank you for calling Bell Atlantic's video on demand system. After you dial your request, the computer sends the movie signals over the phone and then into your home. All right. You get what you want when you want it. This concept of movies on demand is now being tested in a few hundred homes. If it can be offered cheap enough, Bell hopes to move on to the Stargazer, something we might buy for our homes within five years. Well, in this room, we focus on entertainment, primarily movies. Bell uses this model home to show how any business can get on the highway to sell its service, whether it's pizza to go or medical aid. Imagine your family has just moved into the community. Your family is looking for a doctor. You don't want any stranger. Instead, you want a good referral. Hello, I'm Dr. Lee. Bell Atlantic says this technology can revolutionize the way we access and receive health care. Use the scalpel only when necessary. David Yost and Chad Flanagan live next door to Bell's model home. David had some trouble using the mouse at first, but he says interactive learning like this beats reading books any day. It's pretty cool for the future, and um, it's going to be great for learning for other kids. Bell Atlantic is leading the way in building the information highway. That's because it is the only phone company allowed to sell both phone service and programming in the same zone. The other baby bells are suing the federal government to do the same. After all, billions of dollars are at stake. While Bell is building the highway of the future, students at Penn are already traveling fast on the information highway of the present. It's called Internet, a global network that links 50 countries around the world. If I'm sitting here, I can talk to people around the world uh, about things that I want to talk about. From his dorm, Mike Berry can research libraries from Oxford to Stanford. He can ask questions of other computer science majors like himself. He can also talk to his professors. And he replies, there was a quiz today. You may come in and make it up. Internet has come a long way since the 60s. That's when it was set up by the Defense Department to exchange complex data. Internet is now experimenting with live video. We are able to receive video signals, and we're able to send video signals. Through this camera, we were able to send live greetings from pens and at the same time, receive hellos from strangers in seven other places, even a picture from the South Pole. Today's Internet uh, is the best working prototype we have of the, uh, the coming information superhighway. The best part is that anyone can join. All you need is a computer, a phone, and a modem. Imagine a global university, education without borders, and lectures in your own home. Uh, we're now going to move on to Monet. We'll say goodbye to Vincent. But before we go on, uh, those of you who are having problems... The information highway should simplify our lives, but most Americans believe technology is leaving them behind. Can the highway be made easy enough and cheap enough for everyone to use? 
history has shown that prospect is just a matter of time. Welcome to the planetarium, where you can travel to other worlds. On the information highway, Farlin Chang, the 10 o'clock news. <laughs> the future is here. Yeah, you got it. Coming up on the 10 o'clock news, the Bosnian Civil War through the eyes of a little girl. Carl Cherkin has highlights as the Flyers host the Ottawa Senators. And they're no Chia pets, but they will help your garden grow.